When you go to, to the cheap palace, this are, is very good for carving and also very good for a shed and live fence. It produces a lot of manure. Okay, this is mahogany. It's imported here. Our parents could not believe it would grow here. So only the, this our generation is trying to import it and grow here. It grows only in the southwest. It's only us trying to grow it. It's a very good species for, for, for plant. For nature, it's very nice. So we are, there's no one you can see in Bui here, which is up to this size. No, they are just still like this. Because this piece called struggle to bring it for us right from the southwest. This is Acacia <coughs> Spectabili. It is very good for contour farming, for agroforestry, feed for animals, bee farming, and uh, also it is also good for a watershed. This is Jacaranda. For uh, ornamentary in the, in the compound, very good. It produces pink flower. If, I wish if you were coming up, you just sight the BBH hospital, you see it. You are going to see it over in this compound. How it is producing flower in the compound. The compound looks very nice and bees visit it and, and birds in the compound. And children also like it. It is, it is also used for handle of holes and pounding stick for fufu. It is very good for, for all those carving. This is Drevilia, very good for furniture. It's imported in Cameroon here, especially in the northwest. In the tea estate, you found it there because it produces also a shade in the tea. And very good for carving for furniture and any timber building is imported in Cameroon. The English name has just escaped me, but it is known as a, the umbrella tree. The umbrella tree, if you have passed through any village, any compound like the fondless in Bui, in Kumbo, you see how it produces shade for the children to lie in the compound, ornamental. It's very good in the compound. It spreads, send the branches very far for children to lie or for anybody to relax under it in the compound. It's only in the compound. There's no need, you don't plant this out of, out of the compound. Okay, this is Acacia angrosina. It's also very good for bee farmers and uh, the watershed. And then it is also good for contour farming and agroforestry. If you go to any of us in our farm, you know we have made our contour and uh, <coughs> how to control erosion with it. So when, they, they, when you cut it and it produce, it produce green manure in the farm immediately, just after some few weeks. Okay, this is Lericidia, known in Lamso as leaf. There's no herbalist or traditional doctor in, in Kumbu, central subdivision, who cannot prepare herbs without using this. And bees very much like it. If you cut the back, you, you just, when you feel stomach pain or any pain within you, you boil it with honey, you take it, 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 it more reduced before you, you look for a medical doctor. It's very good. And the honey, when bee attracts honey from it, it's pure white. So that is why we are, and very good for a watershed. And uh, it multiplies very fast because at watershed, we like it because even birds eat it. After the two weeks, because it has been treated by the bird stomach, it regenerates, it, 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 it germinates very fast. This is Masopsi. It has not been growing in Kum here, but uh, in Oku area, that's it, and uh, in places like Bamenda Central, that's where the seed was brought. So we are producing it already here for carving and also for life fence and uh, contour farming. It's also good when you cut it. You don't allow it to grow very fast. You cut it to recopy, to recopy, and then you use the green manure from the, the leaves get rotten after a very short time. And also for furniture, light timber, for, for which it, it, when it is dry, it does not come up like other trees because when some trees dry, when the rain comes in, they span. 
and then brook glasses. No, this one like this remain when it is dry. This is a bottle brush. Very good for the compound tree. Very good for bee farmers. And also, it can produce a plant. It can produce pole if they are planted about three meters from each other. But when you plant it closer, it will not produce uh, pools. It does not uh, consume water from the soil. This is Vitex. It's very good for timber for pools. It can replace this uh, eucalyptus when it is planted three meters away from each. And then it is also good for a life fence if you care. And also for, for it can grow that you saw it for and make furniture out of it. It's, it has not been growing here, but we bring it from a, from far with the far coast. So it's, it's a foreign tree within here, but it doesn't have anything to do with the with the soil. It conserves water. It's not as bad as, as this eucalyptus we want to destroy. No, it's very good. This a wakanga for medicinal plant. The bark is cropped and boiled with honey. Very good for watershed. Very good for bee farmers. It produces very white flowers for bees to come in. Especially the season is soon coming where you will see a lot of bees on it. Yeah. <clears throat> very good also for coming, for, 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 for cutlass knife handles. When you <clears throat> when it is used, it does not crack like any other wood. Very good for a water catchment area. There are there are two, the male and the female. This is the male. It produce out of the leaves. It produces milk. When you cut it, you it produce milk. And then, with us, the local people we use the milk as gum. To gum an envelope, <laughs> this milk. Uh -huh, you see, when you, you rub it on an envelope, when you seal don't it. have the means, you seal it. <laughs> this is a pigeon african no, or pigeon africana. Very very good. Is is also seconding Java Arabica to go out for medicinal export out of the country. The back from 20 to 30 years when the back is clean and weight in kilos, one bundle can cost about 10,000 francs. Pigeon Africa, that is very, very good at a watershed or water catchment area because it's spread out. The, the, then the, 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 the moisture remains there because the branches spread out in a very good way. And it is also very good for pounding stick, who handle medicinal boot export and the, the traditional people use it and uh, even at the moment other people are taking the leaves now as tea medicinal tea helps pigeon africana yes we don't know the name of this of this in, uh, in english but the name is feminine feminine the bark you can use the bark to make a container when the bark is clean it can make a container to carry water, to put in oil, to put a pot. You make it round, it form a round circle like a tire of a vehicle, which you can put a calabash on it not to rotten or for termites not to destroy the calabash or anything you want to preserve in the house or elsewhere. And it's very good for poles, very, very good for poles. It stays when, when you have not treated it, it can stay. Termites will not destroy it as fast as uh, other trees when it is not even treated. For me. And very good also for wood eh? and charcoal. We use the charcoal out of it to iron our clothes, to put in the iron, <laughs> because we don't have any electric around here. So these are European apples. So we, we happen to be gardeners in Bui here. So a friend went to Europe and brought it. So it's doing well in our area here, where in the cool area in Bermuda it does not bear. But in Bui here, it's doing extremely well. So other friends like you came 
are coming and telling us to multiply it and leave it for our fam family. An apple a day, the doctor wait. And, uh, and that it makes a lot of money. So that's why we are trying to, to multiply it. That's why we want to produce it more. Even uh, people, some people, some white and even Cameroonian are surprised to see that it is being grown in Kumbia, in Gonzan here in particular. This is Abisia. It's very good for timber. And that is why we want to replace it with eucalyptus because it can also produce poles of within a short time like eucalyptus and it grows very much in the valleys, especially at the watershed or at the fallout farm. Yes, it will, it will it produce manure. You see, the, it is a compound leaf, but the leaves are very small and they got rot very fast, giving manure and it produce pool very good, better than the eucalyptus, which we are going to destroy, which we are trying to, though they are useful, but not as much as this. Okay, this is kindra, very good for watershed. And also, when it is planted not far from each other, you can cut pools out of it, from it, and it will recover. And then when it recopies, you put, you cut and leave two or three, they will produce you pools like the doors of the leg electric pole within four or five years. It's very good, can drop. And also medicinal. Our, 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 our fourth father, they clean the back, boil it with honey, and then add in some water for rheumatism and stomach pain. The female Bokanga, as Bokanga. I was telling you, this is all the bark is used for medicinal for medicine. It is very good for life fence and also for water catchment or watershed area. <laughs> the, 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 the fruit, those uh, plenty come people exporting a uh, pigeon africanum, they also like the seed to export. It's very medicinal. So we are using it and it is also export the seeds are exported if you have it in great quantity. This is Cordia. It's obvious being in, in Gonzan here and it's doing very well for carving, for watershed, for water catchment, for, for, for drum. And it grew very fast faster than any of these trees we have here. And then when you want it to grow, to, to form poles, when it is about uh, five meters, you cut it. When you don't, when you can produce a very straight pole, but when you leave it, you don't cut it, it sends the branches just when it is still young, like the, ah, uh -huh, very good, that's one around there. But when it is cut to, to recopy, it, that, that is when it will give you very good pole. This is a tambaf. <laughs> we don't know, it's, it's our natural tree here. Though there was somebody who came from Yaoundé and we gave him to go and find if he can find the name. We have not got him yet. It is very good for a watershed, very good for water catchment, very good for bee farmers, and uh, also you need for handle of spear or walking stick. It does not, it's just only, it's, it's just a shirop. It doesn't form a pool. So it is very good. Yes. The kiwi. Kiwi. Very good for bridge making. Very, very good. When it is above 10 years, it can be buried now in the, in the ground or for a latrine, layering of latrine because we here, we, we, we lay our floor latrine with sticks and bridges. The termites will not destroy it. So it is very good. And uh, in, in Bermuda, the people from Momo, it, they, they cook, they wash it like bitter leaf and then enjoy it as soap. When they come here, they harvest it, but we here, we are just testing it one by one until it will come to be, we will come to be using it. The, the numerous uh, trees we have, you have seen here, we have, uh, we are trying to, in our nose we are here. They are very important to us because they don't consume our water like the eucalyptus. Though the eucalyptus are useful only in very few ways, but this one here, we have just seen here, 
They are very important for animals, for human beings, for water conservation, for farming, agroforestry, and also for the compound use. Within the compound, you can never plant a eucalyptus because the wind can bring it at any time and even destroy the compound or the house or the children when they are playing. But with all this, they will not grow as much as tall as this. You can see it now. And they are our natural tree here. Very good. Those some are imported, but they are just imported within the country. And we know they use it, most of them. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. <laughs>